Hi, Nisha. Hi, Zach. Everything all right? Could you tell me more about Noctis? It's a wonderful city when you come from Ophir like me. You can meet people from all corporations, but especially merchants, thieves, and mercenaries. All these people were born outside a caste, for the most part. They have a different vision from us of what a city should be like, and you can feel it. For them, a city is above all a place of exchange, of rest after their travels. That's where they find refuge after a hard time. That's where they make serum or lose everything. Noctis breathes way more than Ophir ever will. It is a city where all opinions have a voice. It is a far more creative and cherished city than any other corporate city. Every citizen would be ready to fight for it. Not because we order them to do it, but because it is their refuge. And without it, they wouldn't feel at home anywhere else. Hello, Phobos. Hello, Zachariah. What can I do for you? What do you think of Amelia? She's an interesting young and courageous woman, but Abundance brainwashed her. As long as she hasn't completely cut ties with the corporation, she will remain wary of everything, of anything foreign. I think that she has some pity for us mutants. That's more generous than what humans usually give us, but we don't need pity. We are a new people, not a gang of monsters regretting who they were. Maybe she will come to realize this. She is not stupid, and when it comes down to it, she has a thirst for freedom despite all the brainwashing she went through. What can you tell me about Andrew? He is a hurt man. He hides his suffering under a cynical and detached attitude, but he lost way more than his arm, even if I do not know what it is. If you could help him heal his wounds and become what he ought to become, you will discover without a doubt that he is a very giving friend, and maybe he will be less bitter. Zachariah, you look good. Better than I. As if that was hard to accomplish. Hey, you! Yes, yes, you! Do you have a moment? Hey there. Hello, I'm Brett, and you are? Zachariah. A pleasure then, Zachariah. Are you a hunting enthusiast, a trapper, specialist in local species? Maybe a strong fellow like you might be a mixture of them all. Sorry to disappoint you, but I'm none of those things. Ah, well, my hope got the best of me. I've been looking for someone to aid in my studies. A shame. Sure you're not a hunter? or even someone who'd want to try his hand at it. Can you tell me what's going on? Yes, of course, of course. You see, the focus of my study is the planet's fauna, all the insects and animals brought by the settlers that have since mutated, much like our own mutants, if not in a more spectacular way. Now, I've studied the most well-known of the creatures, of course, but 
I have heard of much more rare specimens, which I would go to any length to study. It would offer great insight into the animal mutations. Anyone can admire their beauty, but what we need is to understand how they came to be what they are. We need to study their anatomy, but they are, of course, rather dangerous. So you need a hunter to find them and bring back your specimens. You might be able to help. What are you after? Well, there is so much. Um, there's a black mole and a shield toad. Also a locust I've named Locusta tempestatus, or more colorfully, the storm locust. It's been spotted in the tunnels beneath Ophir. Please, please, some serum to spare? Where are you from? Well, from Abundance, like you, of course. Best corporation of them all. Doesn't sound like you are. <laughs> Maybe you're right. Probably you're right. Fine. Sure. I'm from the Junction Complex, in Alliance. So why'd you lie? People like to help those like themselves. Renegades. Runaways. They all may become something else in life. But you always care about where you came from, even if they don't care about you anymore. This caravan arrived and it's going straight to the palace again. When will I ever get my delivery? Stop being so impatient. The prince wants a recollection of the journey and news updates from our distant contacts. Normal and necessary. The back of the door is nothing more than a pack of misfits. something got a lot of mechanical stuff you're a robber right don't like that word don't consider myself that i recover things people leave behind in the desert i take nothing from nobody got cool things though collect it repair it trade it when you say people who left stuff in the desert you talking about settlers sure yeah in part found some settler items in the ruins, but my stock is interesting things from all over. Shadow paths, and even places pretty much in the middle of nowhere. I even found an old rover, out of commission and in bad shape, yeah? But there was some cool parts I salvaged. The driver was <laughs> dead, so I figured I could make better use of it than him. I see.
Sorry, pal, can't go through. Priest ordered us to let no one through. No one includes you. Welcome, welcome. What's your pleasure? What are you looking for? on the planet all here in one stall I just need information the only information I have is about my goods Hey, miss, sir. You got a minute? I need to ask you something. You Zachariah Manser? You are, aren't you? You're helping out the Merchant Prince, right? I guess. Yeah, what's going on? I don't. My partner died a few days ago. Got sick, just all of a sudden. A lot of folks catching it, but no one cares none because it's only killing refugees. They don't care about us or what's causing it. So they don't care that we all seem to be catching it. Sick and dead everywhere, everywhere. No remedy or nothing. Only one who seems to care or help is that preacher son. But he can't heal everyone. He's just one fella. Preacher's son healing the sick. Sure enough. Boy's known for performing miracles. I ain't religious, see. Even less now than my heart. 
my soul, and my love was taken. So I don't know if it's true. Just telling you what I've heard. Don't believe in miracles. Never have. It's medicine for the motherfucking meek. God, this city sucks. But we're gonna save these people, huh, Zack? We're gonna kill that little pox son of a bitch. And then fuck it. In the ass. We gotta find what's causing this disease and get a cure real quick. No one around here has much, and now they're even losing their lives. You gotta help us. I'll see what I can do. What were your wife's symptoms? I don't know. I ain't a doctor, but a lot of stomach stuff, cramps, throwing up, just pain everywhere. She was even starting to see stuff that wasn't there, talking crazy. It was awful. What about everyone else who's sick? Most are poor like us, around the neighborhood of the gates. Left the corporations with nothing, arrived here with nothing. Now they're dying because they can't even afford a doctor. Let me go talk to other refugees and see what I can find. Thank you, Mr. Manser. Let me ask you a few questions. Sure. Why not? What do you want to know? You know the man beside you? Of course. He's a friend. What are his symptoms? Mm, stomach aches real bad. Yeah, he um has trouble, you know, holding it in, if you know what I'm saying. It looks like a bacterial infection, and if so, no one is safe here. But hopefully it's just food contamination, or, at worst, poisoning. Need to check if all the sick ate the community soup. Well, almost everyone does. Except me and a few others, so... I should talk to the people cooking the food. What's he been up to since he came to knock this? Well, we haven't been here for too long now. No steady work and no serum. So what he'd do is the odd jobs here and there when he could find them. Same as most of the rest of us. We all sleep in here. Hang around the city the rest of the day, that's... that's about all of it. Not much else to tell, honestly. Think he could've eaten something that made him sick? Maybe. I don't really know. He's been eating a lot from the community soup, I know that. You haven't? Well... I woulda, but... First time I'd gone there. I got in an argument with the religious fellow that runs it. About religious things and such, you know? So, I, I don't go back. Not really welcome. Found other ways to stay fed. How you feeling? Well, I, don't, I don't know. Fine, I guess. All things considered. I don't think I'm sick right now, but I've grown real tired looking after him. Don't sleep so well lately because of it. Thank you. Sure enough. You're welcome. I'm gonna take him to the preacher's son soon. Here he's been healing folks left and right. Hi. Hi. I, oh, my stomach. Oh, oh, my stomach. I'm trying to figure out what's making everyone sick. 
Can I grab a blood sample from you? It'd help a lot. Yeah. Uh, if it if it helps find helps find a cure. Take all you want. Ah. Oh. I should be able to use this to see what's making all those people sick. Let's take a closer look at this sample. Better find Scott. He'll be able to run all the tests I need. Zachariah, you look good. Better than I. As if that was hard to accomplish. This is a sample of a sick man's blood. Can you analyze it for me? I don't see why not. Unless it's some special sort of unanalyzable plasma, the likes I've never encountered before. Like that sandwich I ate earlier. Unlike anything I've ever... I digress. Yes, the analysis. I will get right to it. Here we go. Oh, oh, yes. Who, whoever gave this blood? I cannot imagine the pain he must be in with this level of arsenic. If he doesn't stop eating it, Zachariah, he will die. Tell him that. And give him a decoction of Alia Martis. A great antidote for such poisoning. You work here? Yep, I help cook. You eat here too? Yes, of course. But only a little. I have a weak stomach, so I don't eat everything that's offered. Why? I'm sure you've heard about all the refugees getting sick. There's a chance it's coming from your food. Oh, my. I couldn't imagine how. I just take what they give me and cook the dishes how I'm told. That's all. I don't add anything. So the disease must be coming from somewhere else. Who gives you the food? Well, I mean, it all comes from the parish donations given to the preacher's family. Real good people, you know. They can't have anything to do with it. Their son actually heals the sick. So don't go pointing the finger at them, you hear me? It ain't in the food that's making people sick. I'll tell you that. Hi, Nisha. Hi, Zach. Let's analyze this, and end the mystery. Let's find out the killer ingredient in this soup. Someone laced it with arsenic. Smart. Symptoms look just like cholera. This wasn't a disease. This was poisoning. And that soup's the source. And I doubt it's a coincidence that the source of both the soup and the antidote is the preacher's son.
What the hell would possess you to poison all those refugees? What did they ever do to you to deserve that? Have you ever been adored by people? How generous they can be when you save their lives. When they believe that you healed them, they flocked to my father's temple. Why wouldn't I have done it? Because people died, and a lot are still suffering. You're pathetic. Maybe so. But better to be disgusting than stupid. I knew you'd be coming around sooner or later. So I loaded up with bodyguards. Do what I'm paying you for. Kill him! my father in Noctis. Let me live, and he will pay you all the serum you could ever want. I'm not gonna kill you. Enough people have died already. What you're gonna do is give the antidote to every refugee you made sick, and never go within a block of that community soup again. We clear? Yes. Sure, sure. Antidote for everyone, yeah, and, and I, I promise not to do anything like that ever again. How stupid, I swear. I, thank you. Thank you! Don't thank me. I already regret not making you pay dearly. So, you... you find a cure yet? I did. Except it's an antidote, not a vaccine. You'll find stocks of the plant that will help you heal everyone in the Preacher's son's neighborhood. It's all over now. Don't worry. <sighs> Thank you, Mr. Manser. Thank you so very much.
Hey, back. Should have remembered you. Back when we were kids, the world just revolved around you. Really? How so? I know it nearly killed you, but you were so gifted. While the rest of us worked, technomancy just came so easy to you. It was amazing to watch. The fact that it was easy is what cost me so much. The high I got from manipulating so much fluid was... Well, you saw the result. If I talked for a thousand years, I couldn't even touch the tip of the regret I have. You can't blame anyone but our professors. They should have known better. How could you? They just got sucked into watching your power like the rest of us. It was hypnotic. Too bad all that power isn't enough to let me go back in time and change it all. But I guess what's done is done. What can you tell me about Noctis? It's a free enclave in a world dominated by dictatorial corporations. Created by merchants in order to facilitate the exchange of goods from everywhere. It's become a place that also welcomes refugees from all walks of life. I love this city. You can find anything you want. Mercenaries, preachers, craftsmen, all kinds of merchants, princes and thieves. They'll get me started on the extensive variety of artifacts from all around the planet. It's quite mind-numbing, but it's the place where everything is possible. Far from the yoke imposed by corporations. What should I know about the Caravansary? It's the heart of Noctis, the home of the Merchant Prince, and the place where all the merchants' important transactions happen. That's where they decide on the trajectory of the main cargo routes throughout the planet. Historically, it's also the first place out of the corporation's reach on Mars. I like the place a lot. It's very peaceful compared to other places, and the architecture is splendid. The Merchant Prince has a taste for luxury. I could have spent ten years there. I bet I would smile a bit more than I do now. Ah, and here comes the rare pearl, the diamond in the rough that my Nisha tells me about. Come, young man. Zachariah Manser. I am... was a lieutenant in abundance. Then welcome to Noctus Labyrinthus, Zachariah Manser, former lieutenant of abundance. I am Dandolo, head of this fair city. Legendary city of the merchants. Apparently less legend than I thought, or been told but hopefully as glorious as legends proclaim. Regardless, for all who come seeking asylum, it opens its arms to you and your companions. You are free to call it home. Like all who have come before you, you will honor our only request, that you make yourselves useful to our city. I'm sure your skills will place you in high demand. Noctis' first technomancer, exciting. You'll have all the help you need with Nisha and Lucky, who I believe you've met. We'll give you a room to get some rest. I hear your trip was quite eventful. There is something else. I would like to personally discuss my expectations of you. You hear? War between Abundance and Aurora's winding down. Aurora took Green Hope. You just left Ophir a few hours ago and didn't hear anything about that. That really surprised you? 
Your little censorship office probably hasn't decided what to do with the information yet. No, no. Don't look at me like that. You don't belong to Abundance anymore. The truce doesn't behoove us. During peace, the corporations become more suspicious of us and our business suffers. Our city could even be... discovered, which would be catastrophic. In legend, it must remain. What are you... No, no, let me speak. Your welcome here comes at a price. I want you to attack an Aurora convoy. It's right up your alley. And why would I do that? I didn't finish. You will do it in abundance uniforms, dissolving the truce. Do what you want with the soldiers, but let the civilians live. They need to be witnesses that will report back to Aurora. So you keep the war going? Precisely. And while you're at it, bring back the uniforms of the Aurora Technomancers you dispatch. I'm sure I'll find a use for them down the road. Ah, another thing, much more trivial this time, I assure you. The rover you came in on, I'd like you to move it. Put it wherever you want, do whatever you want with it. Just make sure it's not in the way in the canyon. I just don't want Ophir to stumble over the machine and, as a result, find the road that leads here. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Oh yes, one last thing. My spies gave me a little tidbit that might interest you. Right after your escape, the ASC arrested your Technomancer brothers, that's what you call them, right? From Ophir. Their fate's uncertain, but if I was you, I'd be worried for them. If you're worried enough to want to help them, maybe we can set up some sand sails to get you back. Then your help comes at what cost, assuming it's not out of the kindness of your heart. Don't be so bitter, Zachariah. Business is business, not personal. I just thought... A few Technomancers on our side might be useful. How'd you find out about my brother so quickly? Well, besides the fact that your accident and eventful arrival slowed you down, my messenger sand sails make up in speed what they lack in protection. And of course, the arrests of Abundance's most powerful strike forces were worthy of dispatching agents to keep an eye on the situation. You haven't even given a thought to how this disrupts the current balance of forces, have you? You know why they were arrested? The official statement is that they were suspected of treason. Victor's pretext, I'm sure. He's a man who hates anything not under his control, was probably planning this for quite a while. He didn't get what he wanted going at it indirectly, so he just took it head on. Whatever hope you have for their lives, I'd start to come to terms. They're probably being tortured for their secrets as we speak. And as soon as they give them up, they'll be executed. If you care about them... What choice do we have, Amelia? Look around. We're in the desert. Ophir's after me, and that rover's dead. I know it sounds bad, but what do you think Abundance or Aurora would do if they found our little outcast city? Dandolo may be cool, but in the end, he only wants what's good for Noctis. Welcome, welcome!
Zach, perfect timing. You remember Abby Goodman, friend of mine you helped before? Yeah, of course. She really your friend, or all just part of the cover you had going on? No, <laughs> no. <laughs> she is. She's a spy for Noctis too, though. She's actually been working on something for me and finally managed to get some info I'd been trying to get. What information was that? I... I spent a part of my life in a rehabilitation camp after my arrest in Ophir. It was the worst time of my existence, and I've always wondered how I'd ended up here. Who had turned us in? We were just a group of street kids. We would steal food here and there, but we weren't dangerous. However, we were arrested and deported to a camp like hardened criminals or terrorists. What happened followed me for many years, until I learned that an important member of the Vori clique was responsible for the deportation of dozens of people. Most of them were innocent, but a nuisance for the mob. I want to find that guy. I want to know if it's he who got us deported. I want to understand why and make him pay. For me and my companions, of course, but also for those poor people who hadn't asked for anything. I understand. That man seems to be a real scumbag. I'll help you find him. Thank you, Zach. You always been alone? Or never had anyone you cared about? You mean guys? Why? You the jealous type, Zach. Afraid of some competition? Scared you won't measure up? <laughs> there was one guy, Nick. I was only 10, but I was head over heels for him. He died in the rehab camp after we were all deported around the same time, though. Other than him, couple flings here and there, but nothing much more serious than that. You asking because you heard the rumors and no fear that I'd sleep with anyone wearing a medal? No, I was just... I did what I had to do, Zach. To do my job. Never cared about those guys. That's the truth. You just did what you had to do. How the hell did you go from being an artist in Ophir to a spy in Noctis? Less of a stretch than you think. After all, a good lie, like good art, has to be close to your reality, right? Truth? I was an orphan. Parents did die, and I was on the street and got sucked into a gang. We all got arrested pretty quick and ended up in a rehab camp. Swore I'd die there a couple of times because I wasn't going to let him brainwash me. And they didn't take too kindly to that. I took the beatings, but got to keep my mind. Then, the day came. Noctis attacked. They freed a lot of us and brought me here, took care of us, gave us a chance to have lives again. So, I felt like I owed them something in return, and offered to go back to Ophir as a spy. Good thing, too. Otherwise, who would have torn you out of Victor's grip and brought you back here? You miss making music? I miss performing. I mean, I still sing for myself here and there, write new lyrics when I feel inspired, but the moments I shared with my audience, it was so intense when I felt everyone humming with me. How about you sing for me? Maybe another time, but I'd love to. There's something intimate in sharing your art, like sharing your soul. It's why I feel like music can unite people across corporations, on opposite sides of wars or causes. It's simply beautiful. And in between the notes, our differences seem to disappear. The second all this ends, I'll get back to it. It's what I was born for, and I'm not one to deny destiny. Hello, Amelia. Hey. You know I'm mad at you, right? You realize what you did to me? You stole my rover, took me to that strange city, and left her in the middle of nowhere. I know that you were nice to me, but still. Dandolo wants me to bring your rover back here. Now he's just showing off. At least he knows how much a machine like that one is worth. Unlike you, you do realize that my rover dates back to the Settlers. I cared for her like a mother, maybe even more. Bring her back to me. She's got sentimental value and she's all I have left. In the meantime, I'll go find the tools to repair her. And I'd also like to talk to you in private, if you don't mind, regarding what you discovered in Ophir.
Hey, there you are. Your meeting go well. As well as hoped. Thanks. Then let's get down to business. You know who I am. You know my past. You know what little I have left. What are you gonna do about it now is the question. You gonna use what you can against me? Well, let me carry on with the small life I've managed to build. I want to help you. What can I do? Some things can't be healed, Rogue. Like that scar across your face. I'm guessing you got it the day I lost everything. And was reduced to a sad, broken, armless shadow of what I might have been. Some things can't be healed, but most can be mended, Bren. Let me ask around. It might be a long shot, but maybe you'll find a new reason to call yourself lucky again. We'll find someone who can lead you back to your gifts. I promise. I may be bitter, but I'm no less grateful. Thank you, Zachariah. A little show of kindness goes a long way. I can't deal with it right now, but when I get a chance, I'll look into it. That's good enough for me. You'll come see me later then? Yeah, I'll come find you later. What happened that day? I had a surge. A big one. One even the Masters never saw coming, literally. Before they even knew what was happening, I electrified everyone and everything around me. It screamed like thunder from my body, before the ceiling itself finally collapsed in on me. I woke up in the infirmary without an arm, surrounded by all those powerful masters who stood there shaken, whispering, their eyes still filled with fear. Then everything went dark again, and I woke up in a sand sail. Why aren't you with your family? <laughs> right. My family. They were small-time merchants. I'm sure real proud their son was gifted with technomancy and was joining the school. But they were also scared as shit of me for the same reason. We're all scared of what we don't understand. It's why so many fear us both. Not that I'm sure any of the masters even asked them to take me back. It was more important to them that I disappear for good. To hide what happened. Keep the illusion of their infallibility intact. Also, to hide the fact they had people among them who had the power to take down entire buildings. No, I had to go. In some ways, they even did me a favor. And you never tried to reconnect with them? Even after you got free? No, I looked for them. Even tracked down my father. He was just this... old man. Didn't even recognize me. And if he did, he'd probably just hate me for what I've become. A crippled outcast. Not something you'd put your pride in. So I let it lie. Just walked away. What about your gift? I thought people died if they didn't use their fluid. It's a myth. There are rogue technomancers out there. Not a lot, but a few. They know how to control their fluid surges. Probably the only thing that piece of shit Marcello could take credit for. He introduced me to one of those guys, and after that, I learned to control it the hard way. The irony, no? I'll never be a Technomancer now, but... I control the fluid better than any of Abundance's masters. Not for power, just to make sure my own brain doesn't fry. Zach, how are you? Hello, Amelia. I'm... Sorry, pal, can't go through. Priest ordered a Zach, how are you? Hello, Amelia. Repent! We won't have access to the Blue Paradise so long as we are not all absolved of our sins! You came here to wash your soul? I had something else in mind. Could you tell me more about your sect? 
I can talk about it for hours, even days. A uh, few minutes should be enough. Uh, all right. How can I sum up faith? All the truth contained in this world in a few words. I have to bring myself down to my followers' level. I'll skip the beginning of the story. Let's start with the settlers' arrival. So the settlers had challenged Sun by coming to this planet, by leaving heaven to come down to this hell. So he decided to destroy every source of life on Mars. His wrath was terrible. He unleashed a cataclysm that engulfed the world in a dust cloud. He probably would have wiped out every one of us if his son hadn't taken mercy on us and bestowed the blessing of his shadow. And it is in that shadow where the real men stayed, whereas the others, who thought they could withstand the Lord's vengeful eye, saw their features change forever. They became beasts and lost their soul. Today, we endlessly beg the Lord to reconcile with his son and agree to live in harmony with us, that his eye becomes tender again and no longer burns. I think I've heard enough. Everyone knows that story. I was hoping there might be something different, but no. I'm looking for some work. Would you happen to have anything for me? It is the Shadow who has sent you. I am looking for new worship objects for my followers. And there are relics, benign traces of those who used to live in the canyons around the city, in the ruins of splendid cities. I would have gone there myself on my knees as if it were a holy pilgrimage, but that Horrible places teeming with disgusting creatures and ruthless thieves. You want me to get the relics for you then? All right, I'll see what I can do. Even though I have some doubts regarding those splendid cities, only a few dwellings there.